Hello students, welcome to the class of Maths in 2 minutes and today we are going to see multiple choice questions on Laplace transform. These MCQs are important for the gate net set examination and as well as for the competitive and the unit set examination. We will see the example number 5 and 6 here. Example number 5 is the Laplace transformation of i of t is given by i of s equals to 2 upon s into 1 plus s. As t tending to infinity, the value of i of t will tends to. These four options are with us. Now to find out the value of i of t when t tends to infinity, for that first of all we have to find out the inverse Laplace transformation for this i of s. Then we will take the t tend to infinity and we will have the value of i of t. Now we have the i of s equals to 2 upon s into 1 plus s. Now we will find out the partial fraction for this fraction and that we can directly do. We write 1 upon s minus 1 upon 1 plus s. Now if I do the cross multiplication this will be 1 plus s minus s we are having in the numerator upon this quantity that is s into 1 plus s. Here s s get cancelled, we are left with 1 but we require 2 here in the numerator. So I multiply by the 2 here in the numerator and here also by the 2. Now you just take a cross multiplication, it will be then, it is 2 plus 2 s minus 2 s and the denominator is same, this 2 s get cancelled, we are left with the 2 here, then this is the required partial fraction. Just like the inverse Laplace transformation, you will get the i of t function, 2 is constant, inverse Laplace transformation of 1 by s, it is 1 minus 2, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon 1 plus s, that is e to the power minus t. Now it was asked to you, find out the value of i when t tending to infinity. This is the function we are having i of t. Now t tends to infinity, if I put here, this quantity will become 0. How it is? Because e to the power minus t can be written as 1 upon e to the power t. And if I put the t as infinity here, this will be nothing but 1 by infinity. And that will tends to 0. So this term, second term completely tends to 0. We are left with it is about 2 only when t tending to infinity. So if you observe the option, option c is correct option. Question number 6. Consider the function f of s equals to 5 upon s into s square plus 3s plus 2. Where f of s is the Laplace transform of the function f of t. The initial value of the f of t is equal to. So here we have to apply the initial value theorem. It is limit t tending to 0, f of t equals to limit s tending to infinity of s into f of s. So there is no need to find out the function of t for this one. We can directly get the initial value. I will use this RHS part. So in RHS part we are multiplying the f of s with s. So here also we have multiplied with the s. Then we take the limit as s tending to infinity. So if you observe here this s will get cancelled. And if I put the s as infinity here, this will be the infinity, this will be the infinity. Infinity plus infinity, it is what? Infinity plus 2 is again infinity. So 1 by infinity is what? That will tends to 0. Here we will check whether one of the options is 0 or not. Yes, D option is 0 here. So option D is the correct answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you get something from it, please like and share the video with your friend. Please do subscribe the channel Mathematics Ganesh Sangraha.